Hello everybody. Welcome to the One Report Data YouTube channel. Move, uh, moving on to the Indian markets, let us first discuss about the US markets. The US markets has uh, given a huge uh, gap up and ended the day with very much big candles. And due to this US, US market impact, the global markets uh, opened with a gap up and coming into the Indian markets. More, first, let's discuss about Nifty. Uh, similarly, the Nifty also given app opened with that the day with a huge gap up, and after after that, they faced a very much huge resistance at particularly for Nifty. It was around eighteen thousand eight fifty, and facing this facing that resistance, the entire day the Nifty went up bearish, and coming to this particular area at 122, 122, 120, you know, Nifty, uh, neither bank Nifty had any view at all. They are completely sideways. And after that, after 130, it, the market gave a very much bull bearish candles. And after the, the day, so because of those bearish view, the market was dragged to the yesterday's end. And after that, that it was pretty much consolidation for the uh, till the end of the market. So that's so, so, so that's for Nifty. So and coming into the bank Nifty, and in the daily time frame, you can see that uh, as similar to uh, Nifty, it the day opened in a gap up, and after the the day of uh, was bearish the entire day. So. It faced a huge resistance at, at 43,500, and after that, the complete market was uh, bearish and after a quite consolidation area, and after that, a huge sell off in the market, as we have seen that. Well, I have found uh, before ending the video, let me say some interesting uh, logic. Okay, see how. Uh, Uh, in a bearish uh, in a bearish or bullish view there are uh, two important things to remember so let's keep aside a bearish view and let's move on to the bullish view because the markets are bullish uh, so nowadays so let me talk about bullish view so uh, i have taken a fibonacci retracement tool and i have put it uh, at, at this point at this lower end and I have dragged till to the top here. So the reason for me doing this was uh, because of to find this pattern here. You can see I have you can see the pattern there. Here yeah, this pattern. So uh, why uh, why did you do that? So because of because there was a rule. Let's consider this. Uh, yeah, and this as B, and this as C. So, in a in a in a uh, in a bullish view, in a bull market, the ratio of so the reason for me saying this is oh, here the ratio of B to C divides by b to a should be a fibonacci number so if that uh, satisfies if the if that uh, division satisfies if the result was a fibonacci number here one of these so we can clearly say that uh, sorry yeah if the, if the ratio was a fibonacci number we can clearly say that the market is moving upwards and if there, there will be a particular point of a T, there will be a partic particular point D where that point might be a bearish signal. signal. But for now, for me doing this was to, to show you guys the point C. So if the point C was exactly at a point where it's a Fibonacci ratio. It's a Fibonacci ratio. So, uh, so this rule satisfies uh, this move actually. So actually, there is a uh, simple uh, uh, mathematics to uh, foresee the point D, where the point D might be. So it's not an exact 
calculation but it is just a probability so uh, if you guys uh, like this video and do want to learn more from my videos please do like and subscribe to my channel